Hi everybody and welcome to Cut the Kibble. I'm Paula and this is my 11 year old Bijan Bella who's very excited right now because I've been gone for a few hours and I'm in my kitchen but I'm not cooking today. This is kind of a funny video. Why do I have a hat on? Well my son was visiting for four, I'm sorry, four weeks. I was going to say four months. Four weeks and I had to drive him halfway back my husband drove halfway so that he could go back to his home, um, as you know. Anyway, um, and my husband said, hey, I have some stuff to give you from the freezer. And I said, hey, can you bring me all my winter shirts? Because, you know, I've been here since March 13th at my lake house. And when I left, I didn't bring a lot of winter clothes because I knew I was going to be here in the summer. And I'm still here because of COVID. So, um not only did he bring me my winter shirts, but he brought me this hat. It's not even my hat, it's my daughter's hat, but it was up in my bedroom. And I think he brought me some summer clothes too. I'm hoping my Barefoot Dreams shawl is somewhere in the mix, but I don't know. But what I did want to show you a more serious note was what he brought me from my freezer. Let's bring you over here. Um, I had a big cooler. And he brought me all this. I think this was from the freezer in the kitchen, not the deep freeze. And uh, basically, I'm only keeping like six things. Let's go through the stuff that he brought me. Most of the stuff is Bella's. And I'll tell you why I'm not going to keep it. Okay, well, first of all, he brought me a little bag that has two sardines in it. Ooh! Everything that he brought me is at least from January, I'm imagining, because I left in March and I kept stuff in my freezer. I'm not keeping this. January, this is October. That's 10 months. This is going right in the trash. Uh, he brought me a little thing of peas. I don't even give her peas. That must have been for me That's when I made a meal, but I'm, I'm not keeping it. And he brought me a bunch of um, pumpkin that I had frozen up and I'm not keeping it again because it's old, but um, he also brought me, wow, this, I, I want this container and I just realized what's in this container. Um, it's turmeric. It's ground up turmeric that I had put on like parchment paper to freeze. I will keep this because that's an herb and I will add this into my soups. I don't think I'm gonna be giving Bella much turmeric um, because turmeric is a very, it's hot. And if your dog, you gotta be careful. If your dog has some issues, the hotness of it can bother it. And she doesn't have issues, but I don't wanna risk it for the brisket, right? So then he got me, oh my goodness, I wanted this container, but let's look what's in this container. <laughs> I'm like, why did you give me this stuff? Just trash it. There's mussels. You know how I add mussels to, uh, let me see if you can see, to her food. Can you smell the mussels? Yeah. You want to eat the mussels. But these are old. I'm not, again, I'm not keeping them. I have mussels here. He brought me one piece of cornbread. I don't know why he did that. Uh, and some treats. Again, I'm going to keep these Tupperwares, but these are old treats. I'm not going to give her old treats. Would you eat old treats? Your dog shouldn't eat old treats either. Speaking of old food, this is sad, but I have a whole bag. This is probably like eight or nine meals of round steak with mussels. And of course, I date everything. I don't know if you can see that, but the date is January 18th. And I'm, it's just two, 10 months. I'm kind of weird. I only like things in the freezer for her that's already cooked like three to four months. Max is six for me. So that's going to have to go in the trash. Um, now this is beef heart. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to look into this. I think this is uncooked beef heart. or I really don't know what this is. I'm going to have to look into that. And uh, what is this? I don't even know what that is. So uh, there's another thing with mussels here. What am I keeping? 
Well, there's frozen vegetables. I know that there's cauliflower in here and there's broccoli in here. It's just frozen. I'm going to keep that. There's some butternut squash, but I certainly don't need butternut squash, but I'll keep it. There's a whole bag of spinach. Now, you know I don't use spinach that much. I rotate that in, but I will keep that. And there's some bone broth, so I'll keep this. Maybe I'll dump this in one of my soups. Um, but I really don't want to give her anything that's old. I would just hate to give her something that would make her sick. You know, she's just like one of my kids. And, and we, we need to treat our, our pups as our family, always. Anyway, I have a lot of stuff to go through here and I have to go through all my clothes. And I hope I have that Barefoot Dream shawl here because um, I'm gonna need that this winter to stay warm. Though I know Miss Bella is gonna keep me warm. So anyway, from Cut the Kibble, Paula and Bella, we hope that you are eating healthy to keep your immune system healthy. It's a Saturday dreary day here. So once I get all settled, I'm just gonna sit on the couch with Bella because I know she's sad because her human brother who was here for four weeks, who he is the highest on the totem pole, um, is gone and she's gonna be sad. I'll have to see how the week goes because she could really be sad and start to get upset in her tummy and her poops could be bad because that's how her anxiety affects her, you know. Anyway, take care.